The difference between zoning and spamming the same projectile move are night and day. Zoning is a way, a strategy, to play the game. Take for example Ryu's CPU in Super Street Fighter 2. If you are far away, Ryu will zone you with a fireball, but when you jump over it and get close he will DP you. Even though this may seem cheap, the beauty of fighting games is how you are going to get yourself across the obstacles and find an opening for your attacks. Or when Sagat zones you in Street Fighter uh, Alpha, maybe. Sure, it's a cheap, but it's strategy. And sometimes you find your way out of the zoning. If they zone you out, you zone them back. Zone them until the time runs out, and see what player will misinput the fireball. There are many ways to escape zoning and succeed. However, when you spam the same projectile move over and over is when you are doing something wrong. Spamming the same move is not a strategy, it's being cheap. You should be using your projectile as a tool. If the opponent is far away, then use a fireball. When you're a millisecond away from your opponent and you are spamming fireballs, there's clearly something wrong with you. Zoning is just a way to play the game. You shouldn't get angry if someone zones you out. You should think and try to solve the problem. And yeah, that's basically my uh, TED talk. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you learned something today whenever you're playing fighting games. Yeah, it's Spider Fan, signing off.